Welcome to another Glentech video. Be sure to subscribe. We have tons of video covering every part of website building, including a complete list of cPanel and much, much more. In this particular video, we're going to be editing the neutral slider. What we will be covering is how to change the text on the slider, how to change the images on the slider. Okay, let's get to it. The one we're going to be editing is a neutral slider. Let's open it up so we can see the edits we make. And this is a pretty cool, it's called a slider, but it gets bigger or smaller. And, you know, it's got text on it. It's a pretty neat little thing. So first thing we have to do is log into our cPanel. Now, if you're unfamiliar with cPanel, you're afraid of it, you've never used it, Subscribe and take a look at our channel. We have a complete playlist on every part of cPanel, all this stuff. cPanel is very user-friendly once you understand it. And if you're going to do anything with websites and what have you like that, you really need to understand cPanel some and learn how to use it. It would be to your benefit completely. In this video, we're just going to assume you already understand it and we're just going to move on. So first thing we need to do is click on File Manager and we'll click on Public HTML. If your website is set up under the .com, your website.com, you will be in your store. But ours is not. I'm just pointing this out so you can understand what we're doing here. It's got subfolders. So we need to go subfolder and then we're going to have to find the subfolder. Now this is what your store will look like. Okay, so once you're in your store, you click on the Includes folder. Then you go down and you click on Templates folder. Now you got four templates here. Three of them come with the Zen cart, and one of them we've added. We've added this one. So we click on that one since that's one we're editing. Then we click on Common. Then we go main page PHP, edit, edit. Then we scroll down and your numbers are not going to be, it may or may not be exactly the same as this, but what you need to find is the CSS slider. It'll say start CSS slider. Now, the first thing I do before I start editing or all what I recommend you do until you get real familiar with what you're doing is to highlight the whole thing down here to where it says in slider copy it and paste it onto a notepad if anything happens you mess anything up well then you can just you know highlight the whole thing and repaste it and save it you don't you you don't leave yourself stumped going, what did I do? What did I do? What did I change? Because sometimes that can happen, trust me. What we're going to go over is the edits we can make in this page here. Now that is the actual address for your image. And we're going to change the image in a minute. But first we're going to see what we edit here. First thing is you see this is an alt. It's an alt. If something happens that this image doesn't show up, say there's data limits on somebody's cell phone or whatever, blah, 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 and it doesn't want to show the image, then you can put an alternate text in here. So you can make it anything you want. You know, just type in anything you want. The only thing you have to be careful of is make sure you leave your uh, hat little tags there. Or if you don't care, you can just leave it blank. But if something happens it doesn't show the image, it won't show anything there. It'll just be black. So then we have title. Now the title actually helps your SEO, your search engine optimization. What that'll do is tell what this photo is about because Google or whoever is doing your search, you know, searching for it, can't see the photo. So you have to give them a hint or it hel it's helpful to give them a hint of what the photo is about. That way, if somebody's searching, I mean, right now it says, you know, kids paint. 
So if somebody does a search for kids paint, Google can say, hey, we got a photo here of kids paint. And that's what our photo will be. You can change that to anything you want. And are given a, a brief description. You don't want to make it too long, like a paragraph or anything, but just a brief description of what it is. Women's hats, custom paint, whatever your photo is about. And again, you want to make sure that you leave your little tags there. So you're going in between. Okay, so next we can scroll down here and we say, see, buy now here and save. So let's go over here. Let's reload the page. So in the beginning, buy now here and save. Let's get rid of now. Save changes. Reload again. It just says buy here and save. All right, so that is the text that's showing up. And you can see the best and then it's uh, just got gibberish. Here on the second slider, let me show you this. Uh, buy here and save. And then the second one is two lines. So if we look at the second one, there's a arrow. BR and arrow. Now this is coding. And like we say, you don't have to know anything about coding to edit this thing. If you follow the directions and do some simple things, you can't help but pick up a little bit of coding and a little bit of editing. That stands for line break. So you got an arrow, BR, arrow. And that'll be your line break. So we're going to take away this and you can see what difference it'll make. Reload. And you see it kind of ran out of room. It did, So you only have so much room, it's only going to let it be so big. And put it back. Arrow, BR, arrow. Save changes. So if you want to neaten up your text so it looks better, you can do things that way. And one more thing we can do with this, we're going to go inside this arrow. We're going to make a space. Okay, so we're just inside the arrow. Now, outside the arrow, just to show you, that's our text. So you see it's in between the arrows. And you don't want to mess, you want to make sure you leave those arrows where they are. We're going to make some basic changes here and I'm going to copy and paste this in and then I'm going to show you what it means. So what we did is we we typed in the word style. You can do this. Let me um, put this on a line down so we can see it better. You need to do this kind of exactly the way it is. So you may have to stop the video, go back and look at it, whatever. But you can see it's got a double tag there. But you can see it's got double quote mark there. Okay, so you're outside the double quote mark is where you're going to be doing this. And then you need to type this exactly the way it looks. And you may need to stop the video or whatever like that. I'm going to highlight what you're actually typing here. So it says style equals and then you have background color slash color double period blue and then your colon period and then got color double period red so let's save that and see what that does if you remember we got a black background and white text so now we got a blue, black, around, and red text, right? So you see our color is blue and red. Now you can use colors three different ways. There's ways of putting colors. One is to type it out completely. Now the thing is, okay, if you're typing out red, and basically any color will work. If you want to know all the colors, just Google uh, 
website colors or HTML colors and millions of pages will come up and color combinations, what have you. But the thing is, if you type red, you're getting red. So how many different shades of red are there? Well, there's probably endless amount. So this is one way to write a color. The second way is to put a hashtag in numbers and letters. We can go hashtag and we can do, we're just going to make it black. It's easy. And all zeros is black, all Fs is white. But like I say, it's all on the internet. Then they have what they call RGB, which is different, but we're not going to get into that right now. So let's reload this. And you see our text is black. That's what we changed here. And we'll put it back red. Or like I say, you can look up if you, you if you're going to use letters and numbers, you need to use a hashtag. So if you're just writing it, no hashtag. If you're going to use letters and numbers here, you need that hashtag. So that's pretty much all we can do here. So we're going to close out of the main page PHP. We're going to go up one level. And just to show you, we're still in the same folder. And we'll go to images. Okay, so you can see here we got images one, image two, image three. So those are our images that are going through here. So what we need to do is change our images, and you can change them to pretty much any image you want. Thing is, you can only have one image named one thing. In other words, if you use the same name twice, it wouldn't know which one to show. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to rename these. Now, if you're sure you don't want them and you you know you just want to get rid of them and put some other images up there, you can simply delete them. But we're going to rename them because we're going to put them back. Then we go over to Upload, and we're going to select a file and. We're going to upload a couple images. Now these are just random in images, nothing special. And what I want to do was show you, I'm going to reload what they do. So this one just says image.jpg. And we actually need it image1png. So we're going to rename that one. And you can rename these ahead of time, or you can rename them once you get it up here, whatever you like. And then image two right there is not the correct name too, so we're gonna rename that. So now that we've renamed them, they should work. So that's our new image name. So let's go over here and reload. There we go, we got our new image up here. So it's pretty cool, pretty simple to change the image name. You can do a lot with it. It's a neat little slider. It looks very professional. We want to put it back. Like I said, you know, you're done with it. You simply delete, delete, delete. Image 2, delete, delete, confirm. And I want to show you one time, just in case, if you get your address wrong, this is what will happen, nothing. This is considered the address. So that needs to be correct in order for it to have something. So we're going to put the correct names there. Just so you know if you're trying it and you're saying, why isn't it working? You know, double check your, double check your, uh, you know, so double check your address and make sure that it's correct. So as you can see, it put it back the way it was. Now, I hope this helps you out. Be sure to subscribe and take a look. We have tons of videos covering every part of our website building and much, much more. You have a pleasant day and thank you for watching.